Come on. Come on, come on. I'm excited for today's dish. It's gonna be so good. Ooh, the water is looking nice and clear too. Yeah, really clear. Kevin's gonna meet me up later and we're gonna do a little dive. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna go grab some mussels real quick. So starting May 1st, the annual quarantine starts for the mussels. So you won't be able to eat them uh, starting May all the way to November. And we're at the last weekend of April right now. So this will be my last mussel episode for a while. We're gonna be, me and Kevin, we're gonna be making seafood paella. I think he's gonna bring some, uh, some turkey that he caught as well. Turkey seafood paella. It's gonna be so good. Ooh, this one's perfect. Probably got about 20 mussels. It's good enough. <laughs> If you're coming out here to clam, you really have to fill your holes. Like you can tell it was there, you gotta dig there, 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 up here, all around. You can tell that people have been digging. But you really have to fill your holes or else this would be unsustainable. We're gonna run out of these clams and we'll have no more. So if you're out here, please, please, please fill your holes every time, every single time. All right, let's dig here. You want to dig? Yes. Always. Okay. Now to this hole. Yeah. Fill it up. Fill it back. Fill it back. And that's all you need to do. Take literally take seconds to put your hole back. Just under the fits. We'll put this back in the hole once we're done digging here. Put these guys back over here. Nope, not much here. Even it out, that's it. Here's one, I see one. Barely, right? Just like I said, right out one and a half inches. All right, we got the first one, finally. Nice. She's got one. That's definitely big enough. Go, baby. Nice, good. We're getting it somewhere. Oh, there, there we go, nice. Now, that is a good one. Oh, okay, sir. Fantastic. Fantastic, baby. That's a good one right here. This is a manila clam, I'm pretty sure. These are little neck clams, and these are manila clams. They're slightly different shape, and the manila clams kind of have that little graphic on them. We got enough. We could get more, but we just want to take what we're going to eat. You know, just be, just take what you're going to eat and that's it. We got about 20, so that's going to be enough for a meal. We always take just what we're going to eat and not much more than that. We don't want it to go to waste and we want it to be a little more sustainable as well. We're not trying to hit our limit every time we come out here. We were, we're rarely trying to hit our limit, actually. All right, guys. So uh, now I'm met up with Kevin. He's here now. So we're gonna we got suited up. We're gonna head out there, do a little diving, see if we can find any crabs, some fish. All right. So let's go. Let's do this. Oh, it's like 
watch, huh? Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, I think we can find more. Alright, let's let him live. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Help me here, you say, man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get that in the first try. There's an ancient tradition in California. That is, your first scallop, you're supposed to pop it and eat it raw in the water. Ooh, <laughs> sounds good. I'm just saying. I wanna do it. Okay, man, let's do Hell it. Hell yeah. It's an old school California diver tradition. Your first scallop gets shucked in the water and eaten raw. <laughs> Okay, we got this nice kelp green wing. I found this kelp crab, pretty big kelp crab. Look at his arms, got some meat in there, so we're gonna try that for the first time. Nice rock crab here. Big rock crab, big claws, big claws. I got this scallop, I already ate it. <laughs> another, another rock crab here. And we saw several more rock crabs, but we're like, I have enough. No dungeons. Um, we found probably four or five dungies, all just undersized. Oh. We got a bunch of shavings of fatwood. So this is basically pine that has been super impregnated with resin. When the Ooh. pine tree dies, it just basically sends all its resin down to the base of the tree. And so this becomes ultra flammable. Oh. We're gonna take this and a piece of steel wool, we're gonna make a fire. We're gonna make a fire. Basically just fluff this up a whole bunch. It's ultra fine steel wool. Something like that. 
Okay, and then all you're going to do, and kids don't do this at home, <laughs> once you touch both sides, positive mm -hmm. and negative, into here, it's going to start glowing. Mm -hmm. Take that, set it in here, kind of build it up like a bundle around here, take it off to the side and start blowing on it. Battery. Is this a new battery? Oh, snap! There we go. Right, we're kind of in there. there you go. There it is. <laughs> oh. oh, you made fire. I made it. All right. No need for feather sticks, apparently. <laughs> this stuff is pretty flammable. That is flammable. As much driftwood as there is down here. Water, and that's actually very quick. There's an urban myth that they scream and they cry. It's totally not true. But one of the fastest ways is just to basically remove the carapace all at once. I'm just cleaning the clams off right now. And these clams have been in the water probably about three hours, two, three hours. So they should have gotten rid of most of the sand that's inside, hopefully. Need to put some salt in there. Put it in there. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this paella for a long time. We've been oh. talking about it for months. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and this is the last weekend that we can do this. Yeah. That's possible. And, or else we would have had to wait till end of the year. This, I'm gonna add some smoked paprika in there. Yeah, it's looking good right now. That's the suck. Let's come add. Add the tomato puree. Uh, something like that. Chicken stock here. Saffron. It's okay. Just kind of crushing it in my fingers. Putting it on there. Work that so the rice we kind of get even. So at this point, we don't really want to stir it too much. We'll bring it to a boil and then I'm going to add the fish and the crab. So now we're going to add the crabs in since it's coming to a nice boil here. And I cracked the claws so it'll infuse that nice crab flavor straight into it. And I'm just putting the claws in here. We don't have enough space for the body, unfortunately. <laughs> this is the fish. This is Kevin's kelp greenling here. Let's go all the way. All right, you know what? I'm gonna add these guys in there. Turn the heat down a little bit. All right, so I think it's done now. So I'm gonna take this foil off and reveal our seafood and turkey paella. Moment of truth right here. Oh, baby. 
look at that. All the muscles are open, all the clams are open. Oh my goodness. All right, let's dig in. Wait, let's see if I got the, the socorat underneath. Oh yeah, I got it. The little crust on the bottom, it's perfect. It's really hot. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I just ate the rice right now. Immediately, you can just... Yeah, mine was crunchy. Taste all that shellfish flavor. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, wow, the turkey, oh, that turkey just fell off the bone. <laughs> wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Not bad, that, right? That's good turkey. Nice and fatty, dark meat. Yeah. We got mussels, we got so clams, cute. we got rock <laughs> crab, we got kelp crab, and kelp greenling. And you're absolutely right. The last possible weekend we could have done this. Yeah. And there it is. Here it is, man. Wow, we're killing this thing. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I think it's perfect for four of us. Yeah. yeah. I know you can't see me anymore, but if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch and Cook California once again. See you guys next time. Peace.